The Blue Truth. Crime off the radar. Highway receipts for the quarter have been affected by the deactivation of 12 radar sensors damaged in possible active vandals. The terraformation process on Planet Claw 6 concludes. The mediocre energy drink company Claws is inaugurating its sixth planet today. According to multiple counts, it will be inferior to Blue Blob Zero in every imaginable way. Darsa Basu announces la latest from Usink. The company is working on a technology that will tell consumers what products to buy and could even save them from having to make any decisions that the CEO claiming our C machine will do it for you. Are the Data Preservation Institute surveys reliable? According to interviewers who participated in the survey, pr proving that 100% of humans and aliens do not want working conditions similar to those of robots, that was the only response available. Okay, what do we have here? The Cage 13. What is the name of the primate in, who shows up in Cage 13? Oh, what's this? Hello? Yeah, give me that, thanks. I got Mopazins. Let you clean your house while walking to exercise. Okay, uh, I'm selling that. I'll sell this too. Sell everything. Oh, only worse. Working in a clandestine workshop, no less. Sometimes life takes us to the places we least expect. Don't you agree? I want you to know that if that it doesn't matter who ordered you. Or what those scumbags make you do. The stars will, will also be looking out for you, my friend. I feel like I've got to call her. But I, I want to be careful because we have a long history of accidentally getting her to destroy stuff. So let's call. Who is it? What do you want? Um... I was calling to speak about Taylor Graham. Huh, is that? Uh, Taylor Graham's not uh, in right now. That's right, you can call tomorrow. If we're done now, I'm gonna hang up. <sighs> what will it take to get this? Okay, that's all. Thanks. Goodbye, and remember that it's better if you don't call back until tomorrow. Because I don't know who's in cage 15. I, are, I know what planet cage 15 is on, but I don't want to tell you. Cage 10. Who to Julia Tejeda? Julia Tejeda Fugitive Legend Hiding Julia Tejeda Um Using Julia Tejeda Counterfeiter Julia Tejeda Black Market Julia Tejeda Sister, black market. Accident, black market. Um, hmm. Who to hideaway? Who to hiding? Who to constellation? Clandestine hideaway. Um, and let's call again. Who is it? What is that you want? I need to speak to Telegram. Didn't you call earlier? Well, I thought I told you Telegram was getting home late today. Uh, it would be best if you called back tomorrow. If we're done now, I'm going to have to hang up. Can you give me some advice on choosing a secret hideaway? 
What? what? How, how do you say you got this number? Uh. It's the emergency contact number of uh, the hollow communicator I found. Very funny. Correct me up. Look, I don't know what you think you know, but I hope you're planning on call. You you're not planning to call me again, or you'll see how it stops in so much fun. Goodbye and good riddance. <sighs> what the hell do you want? Oh, wrong number. Bye. Oof, what a relief. Uh, sorry about that. I'm just like, good thing you caught your eye. <laughs> so goodbye. Okay, and as for the... What? I need to buy some food. Hold on. I need food. And I need, like, lots of jello. Maybe even some protein shakes. Okay, anything going on? Oh, yep. You're doing something. Oh, I'm doing something. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> I, I've had to pay rent today. Whoops. Okay, you doing anything? Inter okay, let me eat some food. Hold on. Soon. We're gonna have to call it a day, my friend. Have to make an important call. Um, okay. Hello? Hello, pumpkin. Uh, hello, when are you, are you going to fix that contraption once and for all? Every time you call me, I see a different number. I never know if it's going to be you, and on top of that, there's no way for me to contact you. What's that noise? Are you eating that crap again? Yeah, <laughs> it seems like I've been hooked ever since that, the accident. I'll say. I still remember when we received a year's worth of product for free and you polished it off in under three months. <laughs> what an animal you used to be. Gosh, I always thought that Granny must have made up one of her stories with you as the main character. I can't think of anyone who deserved it more. For the upteenth time, those legends had nothing to do with Granny. They were around even before we humans left Earth. Oh, right, I keep forgetting that you believe in all that. You do too, although you like to pretend otherwise to impress your classmates. Incidentally, how is student life treating you? Great, but I just remembered that I should be getting ready for exam. Ah, oh, it's you. What's well, a start you gave me? Can we talk some other time? Can't you ring the doorbell like a normal person? Of course, whenever's good for you. Wow, aren't you tense? Oh, I almost forgot. I'll be sending you some money soon. And of course, you're showing up here every day and invited. You worry too much. Listen, I really have to get going. There's nothing to do with it. Okay, come on. I was talking in soon, okay? Before I didn't lose shit like this. Bye, love. I know my friend I too would like to. I know my friend. Tell her the truth about this job. But she'd never approve. The fact that I fuss over things looking... Oh well, tomorrow's another day. This seems like it's just the same text as before. Tangled Web Secret Project. Tangled Web's Draft? Tangled Web's Horror. Ugh, I don't... I 
I know I've gotten his name before. I forget how I got there. The Wallens movie. The Wallens secret project. Wallens plus Tangled Webs. Teen drama producer. Tangled Webs. Like, how is he not on this? What am I missing? Hello, Blue Stell here, Blue Bob, OmniPal, and Investment Counselor, always at your service. Just click away, you don't know how happy I am to hear from you. We finally have several investments available. If you'd like to take a look at them, wouldn't you? Sure. Wonderful, today we have three marvelous investments to offer you. First, we're playing a parade on Blue Bob's ear to promote our brand. Doesn't that sound like fun? Second, we can finance a pest control service to get rid of all the plants undesirable inhabitants. <laughs> if you've left the house lately, you surely know what I'm talking about. And last but not least, you can help us fund the creation of professional internships on the planet. Isn't that great? So tell me which one appeals to you. Remember, you can only choose one. Go ahead, ask me anything without obligation. Um, what about the uh, pest control service? Well, well, I get the feeling that more than one rat nibbled at your ankles in the street. But you don't have to worry anymore. With this investment, we'll put an end to those vermin in no time. And the best part is, thanks to Blue Bob's ingenuity, it's going to cost us very little. You heard right. We're going to construct an experimental service at a super low price in exchange for participating in a study of the side effect. Uh, in exchange for participating in a study on the mortality associated with each type of pest. I suppose that could involve some risks, but it will only cost you 60 credits. What do you say? Let's do it. Of course, you have to trust Blue Bob, and that's it. I've just completed a transaction. Isn't that exciting? In a few days, we'll reap the rewards if everything goes well. <laughs> and remember, in the meantime, you can consult its status in the investment app whenever you want. Catch you later. Okay. So. Julia Tijada, a student. Among its many extra Okay, great. If you have any questions, contact... She's president of the Students Association? Lovely. Okay, Julia Tejeda. Here we go. Hello. This is the channel of uh, the Students Association at the University of the Cosmic Mechanics. Julia speaking. What can I do for you? Um... Your name sounds familiar. You wouldn't be the girl who went missing. Uh, yes, that's me. How tiresome. For all these years. Everyone still remembers me for that. I've done other things since then. Oh, well, so be it. You can ask about anything you want. After all, this is an information service. Your parents must have been very worried. Not exactly. Let's see, they stayed behind working on our birth planet. Saving up for their trip. Fortunately, they got sick, and we never saw each other again. The ones who were worried were my grandmother and my sister. Now she's all I have. But that's more than enough. We've always been very close, you know. Uh, what was, why was I telling you that? Oh, well. What else can I help you with? It happened on a Who brand planet, right? Yes, you're right. And incredible as it may seem, they're still sponsoring that planet. Truth is that the company he acted quite honorably. They compensated us with a year's worth of free candy. The bad thing is that it's disgusting. Have you read the ingredients? A hundred percent sugar! I didn't even know that it was physically plausible! Luckily at the university, we only eat products from Wilders. Now that's the stuff to die for. Do you want me to tell you anything else? What happened the day you disappeared? One afternoon I got lost and poof. The next thing I remember is that I was trapped in a sort of canyon under construction. I guess that's what it means to live on a planet while it's being built. Oh well. Is there anything else you want to know? No, that's all about the disappearance. Did you have any th other questions? Um. 
I was wondering if you knew anything about a certain hideaway. Oh, of course I know. It's you don't get to be a spokesperson of the association without knowing something like that. He's one of the university's most famous stories. Wait, what hideaway were you referring to? To Beta Sigmas, of course. It was the first fraternity started at the university. People say that, that it, they had a secret headquarters they called the Hadaway, where they used to meet to do deplorable things. No, if, hmm, what types of terrible things? It said they embedded m macabre subliminal, subliminal messages in the recordings that are still being studied today as part of the curriculum. Apparently, if you listen carefully, you can still hear them. Not long ago, a guy thought he'd deciphered one of them, but it turned out to be interference from a Lolo's Pizza ad. <laughs> Do you need any help with anything else? Um, I want to talk about a criminal, you know. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you're mistaken. I don't know any criminals. If you don't count Lauren, that is. We know she sells alcohol at the university, but we look the other way. I think it's partly because the Dean is one of her best customers. And what about your sister? My sister's a criminal? <laughs> With all due respect, are you out of your mind? She's one of the finest people in the universe. You would know what you just said is complete nonsense. If you actually knew anything about us. I know that your granny told you two about some stars that protect you. What? How do you know that? We never tell anyone that. Who are you? What is it that you want? Wait, this has to have a logical explanation. Let, let's see, if you know so much about us, tell me the form of those stars. Um, they're in the form of a diamond. Oh, heavens. How's that possible? If you're right, and maybe you are, has she been lying to me? All these years? This can't be. Okay, just in case, let's suppose I believe you. What did you say my sister is doing? She works building robots for dangerous people. Dangerous people? Oh, oh no. Rita, what have you done? This is more serious than I thought. When I speak to her, I'll make sure to put an end to this dreadful affair. I just hope she calls me soon. I'm starting to get very anxious. Well, I've got to get going. Thank you for letting me know. I'll find some way to pay you back. There we go, finally! The good ending to gauge 15, I hope. Okay. Well then. Time for some sleep, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I definitely need to sleep. At least six hours, I think. Okay. Maybe some work now. Night doorman. That should be fine. Okay. What a glamour, everyone who came to our party, and we had thousands of photos and videos to prove it. I can tell you had your eyes wide open. Great. The Blue Truth. The biography tales of the art dealer, Kevin Elgin. Withdrawn from the market, the work will soon be released with a new title, Tales of the Ghost Writer Gustav Jenkins, following the discovery that both the work and the events it narrates belong to him. Stomp 12 to have the galaxy's largest golf course. Stomp, the company that sponsors the planet, has announced construction of an immense golf course. Its maintenance will require the resources of not the nine closest planets which have already been evacuated. A new address triggers chaos in several package delivery offices. Hundreds of packages in inundate customs offices due to confusion generated by the changes of address and postal codes throughout the territory due to the change of ownership of planet Zico 91 which has been renamed Uzink 314. Apollo 18 reaches... Didn't we already do this? Apollo re didn't Apollo 18 already reach its destination? Oh, what's this? Okay, cage. 15 is no longer valid, it would seem. Cage 10 and and 13, though. Yeah. We found that poor baby trapped in the ravine. I remember it like it was yesterday. Ha. Huh. It was four in the morning on the day of the search. When we got to her, she looked at us as if nothing had happened. 
Of course the stars are protecting her. Ah, uh, you again. Okay, what do you want? Fourth M, I don't care. Look, the Academy tips them off. That's why you ask so many questions. Yeah. Uh -huh. Look at yourself. We've made good progress. Robin Monroy. At this rate, we'll be out of materials again in no time. Seems that I'll have to go out for parts again tonight. Ooh, that, these hours are exhausting. It'd be better if I use the time to get some sleep. Later, my friend. Hope you can get some rest, too. Okay. Um, give me the mail. Because I know what's going on in cage 10. No, no, I'm, I don't know what's going on. I know what's going on in cage 13. It's uh, Robin Monroy. There you go. Are right, now for cage 10. I think I need to... Hi. Yeah, I've got the rent. Don't worry. Now, when it comes to this guy... And I need to basically prove... I think I need to, like, figure out that he's a writer, I think. A drafted secret project. A horror draft. A draft for the Wallens. A draft for Diabolical Doll. A draft for Fear... A movie draft. A script. Okay, thank goodness. A script. Who wrote the script for Tangled Webs? Final season. Vince Terrell. Awesome. Okay. Now I can call you. Hello, you're speaking to my Kaneko, the visionary who has finance all your favorite TV shows. What can I help you with? Um, do you think Vince will stay with the show? Vince? <laughs> That's what you're calling out? You're a fan of Tangled Webs, aren't you? I don't know, uh, I don't know how I didn't realize it. I started receiving calls like this when those horrible rumors about the series being cancelled first appeared in the press. Uh, everything was so exaggerated. Yes, yes, it's true that Vince is taking longer than usual with this season. But that's just because he wants the ending to be perfect. Disappointing his beloved audience would kill him. So you see that there's nothing to worry about. Over the course of my career, I've seen plenty of artists and all types of creatives behave in exactly the same way. And sooner or later, they all move forward. Some of them need a little push, of course. <laughs> a little push? What are you talking about? Well, all artists go through rough patches where a helping hand can make the difference. Sometimes they just need a little inspiration. A change of scenery is enough. But others, let's just say, each situation is unique. Believe it or not, I even know someone who only needed a couple thousand fan letters. When he saw all that support, he became as motivated as ever been, and he didn't even read them. It's something that continues to surprise me today. But I suppose love is a powerful force. Nice inner phrase, eh? It's from Queen of Hearts. <laughs> uh, what a great series that was. It's a shame it ended. Were you calling for anything else? No, I guess. Okay, can we, like, get contact info for Vince Terrell? Vince Terrell Secret Project. Vince Terrell Horror. Vince Terrell Movie? Vince Terrell The Final Season. Vince Terrell Producer. I mean, we've got the name. That's all we needed for the email, at least. Vince Terrell. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're asking for operation. What is the name of the primate in cage 10? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's Vince Terrell. Okay. Okay, that did close the cage, so I'm not sure what we need to do to close the cage. Hmm. It's a tough one. I mean, so Vince Terrell, plus my Kaneko. No. Vince Terrell's producer. 
Tangled Web Script. Script Vince Terrell. Script for a movie. Vince Terrell, Secret Project. I can't believe it. We've run out of parts again. Ah, it's too early to go out for materials. I know. I'll use the time to call my sister. Don't be like that. You know I enjoy your company. But I also like to talk to her. I was correct. Great. You sound very serious. What's up? I can't believe you've been lying to me all this time. What? What are you talking about? You can't stop pretending, Rita. I know how you got the money. How you get the money, even. Don't you see how dangerous it is? I don't understand how you could do something like that. What would Granny think? Granny was wrong. The world isn't meant for people like us. But if we do this, you'll have a chance. I don't want that chance if it means... You have to put yourself in danger, Rita. Don't you know that you could end up in prison? Or worse, I don't even want to think about it. If I don't keep working this work, you most likely won't be able to stay in school. And if you keep doing it, I could lose my sister. You'd be abandoning me. And if I can't help you, I'd be abandoning you just the same. That's not true. Rita, I can't keep accepting your money. If you miss me, yeah, don't come up. Sometimes I forget how stubborn you are. Look I was talking. Listen, I've got a proposal. Why don't you come stay with me for a few months? Back to that, are we? Well, we're looking for a solution together like that, or just, just like we always done. And if we can find one, you're free to go back to that line. Don't blame the series. The only problem here is it's your long list of personal defects. I'll even accept the money if that's what you want. Which includes being a chicken shit. You won't hear a word from me, of reproach from me. You think you can convince me with insults? It's worth trying, don't you think? Good thing you're better being producer than at persuading people. Alright, I'll see you. I'll try. I love ya. Oh, pardon me. Would I, you rather I sucked up to you? Well, my friend. Seems we have to say goodbye, at least for now. Oh, please come back. There's nobody capable of giving your series ending it deserves. I'm sorry, I have to leave you, but maybe this way we can both have a better laugh. So hire someone to finish it as best they can and be done with it. Thank you for all your help. Goodbye, maybe we'll meet again someday. What difference does it make? The audience is going to complain either way. Have you seen the comments people are leaving in the forums? They supposedly are fans. So that's it, isn't it? You're afraid of what people might think? I don't care what they think. I just don't want my life's work to be a freaking teen drama. I have more important battles to fight. Breaking the leap to movies was my current project. Which reminds me that I should be working, so goodbye. Okay, I'm going. But I don't think for a second that you've won the war. Fear. Final season. Fears about tangled webs. Tangled webs. The script for Tangled Web. I, I don't know what to do here. The Wallen script. Dabble Doll script. 
horror script. Horror Vince Terrell. Script Vince Terrell. Draft Vince Terrell. I can... Tangled Webs Draft. Teen Drama Vince Terrell. Okay, well, in any case, I should... I'll eat... Uh, I should get some work done. Uh, study a subject? Sure. Oh, that was a sleep study. Perfect. Well done. Uh, I should go buy some food. Canned meats. Most, well... Let's get, let's mostly do protein shakes. How about that? Mix it up. Okay. So we answered the email, but we don't have cage number 10 closed yet. 